This book is called Holding On to the Dream. There's two important facts you need to know to, to tell you about this book. Number one, in the year of 1883, it was the worst winter ever recorded in American history. Thousands of ranchers were wiped out because all their cattle were dying in the fields. Also, in that time period, young women did not have their babies in hospitals. They had them at home. So the mortality rate for babies and their mothers sometimes was very, very bad. In fact, as rumor has it, that's where birthday parties came from. If a baby survived the first year, then they thought the baby had a chance of surviving totally, so they had a party. This book starts with a very young father holding a brand new baby boy facing that winter with his wife had just died. And the neighbors back then used to help each other. So in this story, the neighbor, closest neighbor, rancher, had a niece to live with him that was not married, and she agreed to take the baby and help him that way. He loved the fact that she was helping him, and he, that freed him up to concentrate on raising the cattle because if he couldn't get the cattle to survive, he didn't even have a way to feed that baby next year. Well, you know what happened when she got the baby? She fell in love with the baby. Then she fell in love with the baby's daddy. So the whole book, she's trying her best to subtly, gently encourage him to notice her as a woman. He's not ignoring her. He is just still mourning his wife and concentrating hard on trying to keep the cattle alive. Then the book takes a quick, hard turn when he finally decides after a while that his wife really is dead and she's not going to come back, and he needs to ask that lady to marry him since she's the only mother the baby's known. And as he races up on the porch, excited about asking her to marry him, he finds the banker just ask her to marry him. Now she has a dilemma. Does she stay with the banker who's rich and well-mannered and well-educated and wants to get married right now? But if she takes, that, she takes that road, she has to leave the baby behind. The baby is not her baby. Or does she stay with the baby and hope that the daddy someday notices her? You'll have to read the book to find out how, how the rest of the story goes.